How did we transition from the Cold War era to the age of cyber warfare? The journey from a world dominated by the threat of nuclear annihilation to one where invisible digital battles rage is a complex and multifaceted story. The answer lies in the evolution of technology and the changing nature of power. As technology advanced, so did the methods and means of conflict. The digital revolution has transformed not just our daily lives, but also the very nature of war. The Cold War was defined by the threat of nuclear annihilation, a terrifying but ultimately static standoff. The world lived under the shadow of mutually assured destruction, where the push of a button could lead to global catastrophe. Today, the battleground has shifted to the digital realm. Unlike the clear and present danger of nuclear weapons, cyber threats are often invisible, lurking in the background, waiting to strike at the most opportune moment. Cyber warfare, with its stealthy intrusions and potential for widespread disruption, has emerged as a defining feature of modern conflict. These digital skirmishes can cripple infrastructure, steal sensitive information, and sow chaos without a single shot being fired. This new era of conflict is characterized by its asymmetry. Traditional power dynamics are upended as smaller, less powerful entities can challenge larger, more established ones through cyber means. Nation states no longer hold a monopoly on force. The digital age has democratized the tools of warfare, allowing a diverse array of actors to participate in these new forms of conflict. Non-state actors, from terrorist organizations to hacktivist groups, can leverage cyber tools to achieve their objectives. These groups can operate with relative anonymity, making it difficult to trace their actions back to a specific source. The lines between peace and war, between military and civilian targets, have become blurred. In the digital realm, an attack on a civilian infrastructure can have military implications and vice versa. This blurring of lines complicates the traditional understanding of conflict and necessitates new strategies and responses. In response to these evolving threats, governments and the private sector must collaborate closely on cybersecurity measures, protecting critical infrastructure, securing sensitive data, and developing robust defense mechanisms are essential in this new era of conflict. As we look to the future, the landscape of warfare will continue to evolve. Emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, quantum computing and advanced encryption will shape the next phase of conflict. Understanding and preparing for these changes is crucial for maintaining security and stability in an increasingly interconnected world. Global cooperation will be key in addressing the challenges of cyber warfare. Nations must work together to establish norms, share intelligence, and develop collective defense strategies to counteract the growing cyber threats. While the digital age presents new challenges, it also offers opportunities for innovation and collaboration. By working together, we can build a more secure and resilient digital future, ensuring that the benefits of technology are harnessed for the greater good. The transition from traditional to cyber warfare is not a clean break. Instead, it represents a merging of the physical and digital worlds. Traditional military operations increasingly rely on sophisticated networks and data systems. This reliance creates vulnerabilities that can be exploited by adversaries. Cyber attacks can be used to disrupt communications, blind radar systems, and even sabotage critical infrastructure. The Stuxnet worm, a sophisticated piece of malware, demonstrated the potential for cyber attacks to inflict real-world damage on physical infrastructure. One of the defining challenges of cyber warfare is the difficulty of attribution. Unlike traditional warfare, where the aggressor is usually readily identifiable, cyber attacks can be launched from anywhere in the world, often with sophisticated techniques to mask the attacker's identity. This anonymity raises complex legal and geopolitical challenges. How do you deter an enemy you cannot identify? How do you respond when it is unclear who is responsible for an attack? These questions highlight the need for new international norms and legal frameworks to govern cyberspace. The Stuxnet worm, discovered in 2010, was a groundbreaking moment in the history of cyber warfare. It provided a stark wake-up call to the world about the potential of cyber weapons, showing that digital attacks could have real-world consequences. This highly sophisticated malware was specifically designed to target 
and sabotage Iran's nuclear program, causing centrifuges to spin out of control and ultimately fail. Believed to be a joint operation by the United States and Israel, Stuxnet was a clear demonstration of the capabilities of state-sponsored cyber operations. Stuxnet demonstrated that cyber weapons could be used to inflict physical damage on critical infrastructure, a concept that was previously thought to be the stuff of science fiction. The attack marked a turning point in the way nations viewed cyber security and cyber warfare. It ushered in a new era where cyber weapons were no longer theoretical threats, but very real and dangerous tools of warfare. The implications of Stuxnet were profound, leading to increased investments in cyber defense and a re-evaluation of the vulnerabilities in critical infrastructure. Nations around the world began to take cybersecurity more seriously, implementing measures to protect against similar attacks. The evolution of cyber threats continued, with Stuxnet serving as a blueprint for future cyber weapons. Today, the legacy of Stuxnet lives on as cyber warfare remains a significant and growing threat in the digital age. Adding further complexity to the cyber battlefield is the rapid advancement of artificial intelligence, or AI technology. AI has the potential to revolutionize modern warfare from autonomous drones and advanced weapon systems to sophisticated algorithms for intelligence gathering and decision making processes. While AI offers potential benefits for defense applications, it also raises significant ethical and strategic concerns. The possibility of autonomous weapon systems making life or death decisions without human intervention raises profound questions about accountability and the potential for unintended and unforeseen consequences. The 2007 cyber attacks on Estonia provided a chilling glimpse into the potential impact of cyber warfare on a nation state. For three weeks, Estonia's government banks and media outlets were crippled by a barrage of distributed denial-of-service or DDoS attacks. While the attackers were never definitively identified, the incident highlighted the vulnerability of modern societies to cyber attacks. It also underscored the need for nations to develop robust cyber defenses and strategies to respond to such attacks. The emergence of cyber warfare has profoundly transformed the landscape of global security. No longer confined to the physical battlefield, conflict now extends to the digital realm with potentially devastating consequences for individuals, nations and the global economy. Cyber attacks can cripple critical infrastructure, disrupt financial markets and sow discord and chaos within societies. The interconnected nature of the digital world means that the consequences of cyber attacks can rapidly cascade across borders, impacting countries far removed from the initial target. Addressing the challenges of cyber warfare requires a coordinated global response. No single nation can hope to tackle this complex issue alone. International cooperation is essential to develop norms of behavior in cyberspace, deter malicious actors, and respond effectively to cyber attacks. This cooperation must extend beyond governments to include the private sector, which controls much of the critical infrastructure that is vulnerable to cyber attacks. Building a safer and more secure cyber domain requires a collective effort from all stakeholders. The future of warfare is likely to be characterized by a complex interplay of traditional military operations and cyber warfare. The lines between the physical and digital battlefields will continue to blur, creating new challenges for military strategists and policymakers. As AI and other emerging technologies mature, they will further reshape the nature of conflict, introducing new uncertainties and risks. Understanding and adapting to this rapidly evolving landscape is essential for maintaining national and global security in the 21st century. The transition from the Cold War to the age of cyber warfare represents a fundamental shift in the nature of conflict. During the Cold War, the world was divided by physical borders and ideological battles, with nations amassing nuclear arsenals and conventional military forces. However, in the cyber age, the battlefield has expanded into the digital realm, where invisible threats can strike from anywhere at any time. It is a shift that demands our attention, our understanding, and our active engagement. 
Unlike traditional warfare, cyber warfare does not require physical presence or massive armies. Instead, it relies on sophisticated technology, skilled hackers, and the element of surprise. This new form of conflict can disrupt economies, compromise national security, and even influence political outcomes. We must educate ourselves about the threats and challenges of cyber warfare. This means staying informed about the latest cyber threats, understanding how cyber attacks are carried out, and recognizing the potential impact on our daily lives. Cybersecurity is not just the responsibility of governments and corporations. It is a collective effort that involves every individual who uses digital technology. We must demand that our leaders prioritize cybersecurity and develop effective strategies to deter and respond to cyber attacks. Governments need to invest in advanced cybersecurity infrastructure, create robust policies, and foster international cooperation to combat cyber threats. Additionally, there should be a focus on training and equipping law enforcement agencies to handle cybercrime effectively. The future of warfare is being written in the digital domain, and it's up to all of us to shape the course of this new era. By staying vigilant, advocating for stronger cybersecurity measures, and embracing a proactive approach, we can help ensure a safer and more secure digital world. The cyber age is here, and our preparedness today will determine our resilience tomorrow.